Hello, and welcome to this incredible double eyebrow look, and also this devlog of Rocket Explorer. Quickly, before I begin, Rocket Explorer is now available to wishlist on Steam. It has a public page, and you can go in and put it on your wishlist, and that way, once it goes live, I'll probably do early access in a couple of months. When that happens, you will get a notification. Let's get into this. So Rocket Explorer V0.10, it took two months and not one. So I don't know if you noticed that. I know some people did, but you know, I think I gave an explanation to my patrons, but school apparently takes a lot of time. I, I took two months instead of one, instead of trying to crank out an update last month that wasn't really, it didn't really have anything new. So in the first of these two months, I basically just made a sort of launching system that's revamped, whereas before it was just an animation, now it's sort of going by points and I can tweak the speed individually of each rocket. And it should be the foundation of being able to launch the rockets into orbit, or at least the beginning of that trajectory, and then I can do some triggery. That was essentially just what I made in the first month, because I was busy with other stuff, and it actually took a surprising amount of time. But this month I've made some further tweaks and upgrades, so I've made a new scene, which I call the rocket viewer scene, where you can just, it's just a black background where you can see and rotate rockets around and compare them, just like on the launch pad. And I think it's just a neat way to view the rockets themselves without any context. You can zoom all the way in and see all the nitty gritty details and drag up and down to see the different stages. And then you can, of course, compare rockets. So you can compare different rockets to each other or you can compare different configurations of the same rocket. And I think it's just a really neat, clean way to do that. And of course you can take screenshots and make sort of comparisons yourself like that, instead of <laughs> asking me on Twitter to do all sorts of weird comparisons. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, it's it's always fun. That's, that's of course something you can do and you can use it for videos if you want. And I think it's just a neat little extra scene. And then you can uh, of course navigate into the rocket hangar and the launch pad of course, where you can launch rockets. I think that's neat. There are three new rockets of course. There are the R7, which is the precursor to like the Soyuz and the Vostok K rocket. It's basically the foundation for that entirely, entire family of rockets with the Korolev cross and, and yeah, it's what they're all based on, I think. So that's gonna be real neat. And then there are two other rockets. There's the Firefly Alpha and the Launcher Rocket 1, I think. Why are all rockets now called Rocket 1? Rocket 3.0, Rocket 1, stop it, be creative. Then there's a highly requested feature. You can now launch a rocket from the photo mode. So you don't have to like launch it and quickly switch into the photo mode. You can just hit the enter key and it will send it off. So you can create a video where you're like zooming in and then it launches and it's awesome. You can start from the camera that looks down towards the pad and launch it that way. You can, you can do anything you want. It's awesome. Then I did a bunch of UI work, which is user interface. I made the background of it sort of blurred because I thought the the text was sometimes hard to read, no matter how dark I made the, the background, even though it's, I still wanted it to be sort of transparent. I had done it before because there are some difficulties with the blurred because it essentially has to render different views and sort of mix them together. It was a hassle with this new render pipeline of Unity. But I think it looks really good and that's important, I think. And I added a small hover bar thing to the bottom of the rocket menu. And if you hover your mouse over that, it will open a small menu that consists of either two or three buttons. That will be the pause button, the teleport button, and sometimes the photo mode button. Obviously that isn't in the rocket viewer scene as that's already sort of a photo mode. But I think that's really good to have physical buttons instead of all shortcuts on the keyboard no matter how much I write it in the pause menu in the list of keys. So any feedback on that would be great. Do you want it to be always open or do you like that it sort of hides itself when you don't use it and you have to hover over it? Slideshows back. So yeah, that's essentially all there is for now. I know it's not a lot, but as I said earlier, I am in school and I do have to do freelance jobs to keep myself alive. 
So yeah, your support on Patreon would be really, really appreciated. Uh, and to those of you who already support me, thank you so much. Here are some ideas I have for the next update or that I've heard some people suggest. And you can leave your suggestions in the comments and we can sort of, I can take that feedback and put it into the next Patreon update until I get the public release on Steam. So let's go. I think I want to add sort of statistics for the different rockets, either in the compare panel where you can compare different rockets and then see the different stats or there and the info panel, but I'm not sure how I'm going to fit it there. So yeah, let me know what you think about that. I really want to improve the exhausts of the rockets. I know I've said that before and they do look better now that they, than they've done before, but they still look like garbage. So I obviously want to be able to launch the rockets into space. So I think we're going to look into sort of how to do that triggery with launching it and then sort of fading into another scene where it isn't as far away from the center or maybe the rocket is even standing still and the earth is moving below it. How to make that smooth transition? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Also, I've thought about making different launch pads, but I'm not sure yet. So right now I have that 39A slash universal launch pad as it's, it's one that a lot of people can recognize and it's also popular and historic, obviously. But yeah, let me know if that's something you would like to see. I know the Rocket Lab launch pad down in New Zealand is beautiful, but I don't know if I can do it justice here. Like I'd have to spend a couple of months on it at least. So, and yeah, let me know what rocket you would like to see because I'm still missing a lot. Here are some, some I'd thought about recently. I want to make the ISRO PSLV rocket. That's of course relativity space rocket. I can't remember what it's called right now, but that would be neat also. A lot, a lot of new small set launches on the market. Obviously there's a lot of historic American and Russian rockets that I'm still missing. I have actually modeled the Proton like 90%. So I just have to finish that and that can be in the next version. So those are some of my thoughts. Let me know what rockets you would like to see. As I said, go wishlist Rocket Explorer on Steam and support me on Patreon if you can. And if you can't, that's totally fine. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end here. I'm just gonna shout out the producer level patrons of Rocket Explorer because they are lovely people. It's very handy. I have their names right here on the website. So it's Tim Dodd, Nilsen B, Felix Lang, Andrew Law, Anoush Patel, Marcus House, TJ Cooney, Adrian Kudianos, and Tom Gerard. Yeah, that's all. Thank you guys so, so much. It's, you're amazing, and you're all amazing, and I love you. Wishlist Rocket Explorer on Steam, and I will see you next time. Where this is gone, sadly. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>